Hey guys, Rural Baba Believer here, back again with another Bible review. And today I have this Skyler Canterbury Wide Margin in antique marble brown goat skin. Now let's get right into it. This Bible is Smith's own, it is edge lined. There you go with the head and tail bands, they're just brown. It is red under gold gilding. Very nice. It is a wide margin. 38 GSM paper. Red letter all the way through Revelation. Very nice ribbons there. Multicolored. Now, let's get into it. It is leather lined. I think that's like a ca uh, calf skin. Very nice. You have the gilt line on the inside so you see the edge lining there now let's get right into this now guys I am a fan of wide margin just for the fact that they have the better contrasty paper so the higher GSM paper which to me the main part is readability so that's why I'm a fan of wide margin Bibles there we go take a look at that table of content translators to the readers and the epistle dedicatory in this one like I said I believe in one of my other videos I would highly recommend that you give that a read if you have a King James version of the Bible with that in it you get a lot of context on the Bible making that entailed this one here that I have not this specific from Skylar but the authorized version I mean so here we go nice uh, nine point font 38 GSM paper there. Drop caps are ornamental in style. Very nice. Take a look there. It lays pretty flat. I've, you know, worked, broken it in a couple of times. Let's get to Psalms. Psalms is in poetic form. And this one, as you can see there. Very nice, this is my first Bible with such text layout. See those drop caps, very cool, very nice. Now let's get to the New Testament. So you can see some red letter. Here we go, the Gospel according to Matthew. Damn, right there we get into some red letter. Not the most contrasty red letter, nonetheless it's very good. This is a, you know, overall well-made Bible. Very high quality. There is a lot more little marks throughout the wide margins throughout, little black dots of such that I'm not the biggest fan of, but that's a little more nitpicky. Like I said, it is red letter all the way through Revelation. We're gonna take a look at that. There you go. See that red letter? It's 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 like a like a dark red, but not that boldly printed. This is not the boldest print. I have the Concord wide margin, which is very bold. Now this one can edge it out in slight readability, just off the newer style font, but it'll be close because if this font was dark. It would make a big difference if it was darker it's dark if it was darker like a Cambridge Concord or probably like the Allens which I haven't seen in person but from what I've read and watched that they have a nice dark print which like I said the main thing to me you're reading the Word of God you want it to be very readable and easy on the eyes so that you can read for longer now enough of my ranting Kings English very cool. It's going to give you some definitions of some words that you might not know the meaning of. First time I've seen this in one of my Bibles. They only have a concordance. It is in a very tiny, looks like a three-point font. So good luck reading it. But nonetheless, it's in there. Not the biggest concordance, but... Then we have... A bunch of lined paper for writing 
if you feel the need to write tons of notes in the back you have it there very nice now maps 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 they have pretty good maps they're not on like a cardstock paper like a like you would have in like the church bible publishers they're on regular bible paper but it's wide margin so you don't necessarily need the cardstock pages for the maps then we have an index set of maps here in the back some more cardstock pages the end of this one here see that same elegant lining now my review my personal opinion I'm reading through the Old Testament in this one and as of right now I would call it very enjoyable to read for my eyes like I said that's the main thing for me because sometimes if it's if it's not easy in the eyes I tend to slow down or stop or take a break and you don't want to take breaks when you're reading the Bible you want to read for a long time so that's a big deal so this one is very readable very nice to read very enjoyable to read it is also made of from what I could tell the highest quality materials in the Bible industry now compared to some of my other ones it, it doesn't have the best leather I would give that to my church Bible publishers here mm, you see them too they're similar in color and in size but where the Skyler wins is the paper hands down for me if church Bible publishers would upgrade their paper then we're talking church Bible publishers will be winning that debate but as of now let's say compared to the Concord wide margin let me grab it so the Concord wide margin here as you can see has the very good paper also same paper guys and the Concord wide margin lays flatter but the quality overall goes to Skyler the leather liner you know the elegantness of the drop caps goes to Skyler so against this one this one wins they're both very high quality and this one feels like it's gonna last a long time but overall it goes to Skyler now it is like around 50 more dollars at the moment more than even the Cambridge so there you go also depends on how much you have you know I would say go with the Cambridge if you're just looking for that paper like me you know I've taken a look at that for you let's say and uh, you save 50 bucks like that if you if you really like the drop caps and the newer font um, and the leather liner if you if that really makes a big deal for you then go with the Skyler if you have it I would say it's worth it like I said before there is for my liking too much black dots like a ink throughout I find them randomly and there is a couple in, in, in some other Bibles but this one just from my initial look seems to have the most but overall quality very good guys I recommend it like I said I am a wide margin guy I don't know if you are but that is my favorite type of Bible so yeah there you go nice little look and I will recommend it now have a nice day guys like subscribe share if you want more content like this and like I said give me some ideas of some other you know type of content in this realm that you would like you know I have some plans you know to do book reviews or maybe opinions on books or even you know verse by verse uh, post like a verse of the day you know in the realm of Bible <laughs> so yeah let me know guys like subscribe share if you're getting anything from these videos thank you for joining me have a nice day